This is a quick demonstration of how to uh, dynamically control which columns are being shown here. This is not a complex sample, so all I did here, if I go to live mode, you have the name and the ID, and if I press the button, it would switch to show the name and the email instead. Okay. So the way you do this is very simple. If we look at the properties of this table, um, it has one property which is interesting to us, which is called columns. Um, Right, and we hooked it up to a variable in our page called a uh, call array, and I can show you this variable over here. This is simply an array that has a field and a header text, which are two properties of the columns. You can add other properties as well. And then all I need to do is basically play with the values that are assigned to this variable, which I'm doing in two places. I'm doing it um, one in the enter to the page where I set the columns. Um, and all I do here is I assign a variable. If I go in here, you'll see I take this array and I assign to it name and ID, okay? Um, and then the other place where I set this is when I press the button. So go back to the UI. If you take this button and you press it, um, we have another event. And in this event, I set the same variable but to a different set of fields, the name and the email, okay? And by the way, if I just remove the name from here, okay, and save and go back to my environment over here and click live, click add email, you would see it's just emails now, okay? So this is quite easy to achieve. Again, if we were to do it kind of from scratch, we would go over and we'll drop a table on the page, let's say below this one, okay? And we'll hook it up to data. Um, this time we'll pick it up from employees and choose the fields that you want to show. It can be name, salary, email, ID, stuff like that, okay? And finish. So this would create the basic table. If you would look now in the code for this table, you would see that the columns here have a bunch of properties for each one of the columns, right? And all I did is instead of having this as a fixed value, I picked up this variable. So if I click on this table and I look at the properties, here's the what is right now in the column. Okay, let me copy this for a second. I'll copy what is inside here. Okay, like that. And then instead of having this, I just point it to this array that I created in my page, okay? So the minute that I do this, if you now look at my visual representation, it should basically show you the name and the ID here, okay? Uh, let me switch this table to be grid so we can distinct the two tables like that, okay? And then if I add a button here, um, so pick up and add a button here, and I set the action on this button to be an assign variable, where I take and I assign a variable to this column array over here, okay? And what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna paste all the columns, okay? Right here, and make sure that you're assigning this uh, to an empty array. Click Save, and let's go back here. So initially this table has just the name and the ID. And then if I click the button, so it need to be in live mode, click the button, and you get the other columns showing up here as well. That's all you need to do.